Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm super excited to show you something absolutely incredible, Flux Context and how it delivers mind-blowing image editing with surgical precision. We're going to dive deep into style transfer techniques, and I'll show you how to maintain perfect character consistency across multiple edits. I've got some amazing Studio Ghibli style examples and many more, so if you're ready to take your AI image editing game to the next level, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's jump right in. Flux Context is a powerful 12 billion parameter AI model that completely transforms how we edit existing images. Think of it as your precision editing tool. You can give it simple text instruction and it will make that exact change while keeping everything else perfectly untouched. What's really impressive is the speed. We're talking about results in just 6 to 12 seconds. Now, Context comes in three different versions. You've got the Paid Pro and Max versions that work through API, and then there's the free open source dev version, which is exactly what we're going to explore together in this video. What makes Context truly special is its surgical precision and incredible character consistency across multiple edits. While this technology shares similarities with ChatGPT's image editing capabilities, Context focuses specifically on precision editing with much faster processing times. Here's a quick licensing update you need to know. Black Forest Labs just announced new commercial terms for Flux Dev models, including Context Dev, on June 26, 2025. It's still completely free for personal and research use, but commercial applications now require a paid license with content filtering and usage reporting requirements. If you're planning to use Context Dev for business, make sure to review the updated commercial licensing terms and fees. Let's talk about system requirements. You can download the FP16 version if you have 24 gigabytes or more of VRAM. There's also the FP8 scaled version that requires 20 gigabytes of VRAM and both have almost identical quality. However, for those of you with lower tier GPUs, I'm talking about eight to 16 gigabytes, the community has already quantized the models for you. You can pick the version that perfectly suits your VRAM for example, if you have 12 gigabytes, you can download and use the Q4 or Q5 quantized models without any issues. In my case, I actually have enough VRAM to run the FP16 model smoothly. However, to demonstrate how to use GGUF files properly, I'm going to download and use the Q8 version for this tutorial. You'll need to save the model inside the models folder, then in the UNET folder. Don't worry about remembering all these details. You'll find all the links, model save locations, and additional information right in the Comfy UI workflow I'm sharing with you. Now, on your Comfy UI web interface, you need to update it to the latest version from the manager and then restart Comfy UI completely. I've loaded the native Flux Context Dev workflow directly from the official Comfy UI website, so let's start with the model load node. If you're using the FP8 or FP16 version, you can keep everything exactly as it is. If not, we need custom nodes that load GGUF models instead. If you don't have these installed, please grab them from Comfy Manager. It's super straightforward. Same thing goes for the dual clip loader. You'll need the GGUF custom node to load quantized text encoders properly. Let's start with the fundamentals of Flux Context, basic object modification. This example perfectly demonstrates how context understands context without needing overly complex descriptions. Notice how I'm not just saying, make it blue. I'm being specific with deep metallic blue, and crucially, I'm telling it to maintain the lighting and reflections. This is absolutely key because simple color changes can sometimes flatten the image or cause you to lose those realistic lighting effects that make the image pop. The beauty of context is that it recognizes the car as the main subject and changes only what you specify while preserving everything else that makes the image look natural and believable. Time transformation is where context really shines, but it's also where beginners often lose the original character of their image. The key phrase here is, while maintaining the same cozy coffee shop atmosphere. Without this specific instruction, context might change the lighting so dramatically that it completely loses that warm, intimate feeling we want to preserve. 
Notice how I'm being specific about natural sunlight streaming through windows rather than just saying, make it daytime. This level of detail ensures the transformation feels natural and intentional rather than jarring or fake. This example showcases Context's ability to handle multiple simultaneous changes beautifully. We're transforming weather, season, adding people, and changing the entire mood of the scene all at once. Style transfer is honestly one of Context's most impressive features, but here's the thing, generic prompts like make it artistic rarely work well. Here I'm naming the specific style Van Gogh Impressionist and describing the exact visual characteristics I want, visible brush strokes, swirling patterns, and vibrant color palette. The key is being art historically accurate in your descriptions. The phrase, maintaining the exact same composition, prevents context from reimagining the scene entirely, which is what often happens with vague style prompts. Style transformation to animation requires understanding the visual language of that specific style. For Studio Ghibli, I'm specifying soft hand-drawn cell animation aesthetics and whimsical flowing dress with fantastical details. These descriptors are specifically tailored to Ghibli's distinctive visual approach. Before we move to character consistency examples, I want to share with you an exciting news. We've extended our 34% discount on our brand new Photoreal Influencer Blueprint course. This isn't just another tutorial. It's a comprehensive guide packed with exclusive content that teaches you how to create the most consistent characters using FluxDev and animate them seamlessly with the WAN video model. You'll learn the entire process from scratch, including how to create your AI character, train custom LoRa's, and even fine-tune entire models to achieve perfect consistency across your projects. The course includes over 20 professional workflows, and with our custom Comfy UI installer, you won't have to worry about missing custom nodes, compatibility errors, or model conflicts. Everything just works out of the box. Visit pixelailabs.com or check out the course landing page in the description below to secure your discount before it expires. Character consistency is perhaps the most challenging aspect of image editing, and this example demonstrates the framework for success. The critical elements are, first, establish the reference clearly, the redhead woman. Second, specify exactly what's changing, transform into a medieval knight. And third, explicitly preserve identity markers, exact facial features, hair color, eye color, and facial expression. We can also enable the multiple image input to do additional editing on our generated image. All we need to do is load the last saved edited image and then edit the positive prompt. Let's preserve our character with the armor this time and change only the background. As you can see, we've successfully changed the background. However, the generated image contains both the first and second images. We can use a set of custom nodes to crop only the right image. Background replacement is particularly tricky because simple prompts often cause unwanted changes to your subject's position or scale. This example shows the comprehensive approach needed for precise composition control. Notice the redundancy in preservation instructions. Exact same position, scale, pose, identical subject placement, same camera angle and framing. This might seem excessive, but it's absolutely necessary because background changes can trigger context to reframe the entire image. The phrase, only replace the environment behind her, clearly defines the boundary of the edit. From there, we can load our edited image again and change clothing, for example, and even add a cocktail drink on the table. Sometimes editing an image multiple times can lower the image quality. 
you can use the image composite mask trick to layer images based on the drawn mask. For example, we want only the cocktail drink from the last generated image, and we put that part of the image on top of our previous generated image that doesn't have any artifacts or quality issues. You can see the difference side by side. This is also the first image we started with compared to the final edited image. Text editing in context is remarkably precise when you use the right technique. The key is using quotation marks around the exact text you want to change, Fresh Bakery to Flux Studio. But equally important is specifying preservation of the design elements, same vintage wooden sign style, font characteristics, and decorative elements. Without these instructions, context might completely redesign the sign rather than just changing the text. This technique works brilliantly for any text in images, street signs, book covers, product labels, you name it. Visual cues are an underutilized feature that can make your edits incredibly precise. In this example, the empty frame acts as natural markers, telling context exactly where to make changes. And that's how you master Flux context like a pro. Remember the golden rules. Be specific with your descriptions, preserve what matters most, and use iterative editing for complex changes. If this tutorial helped you create better AI edits, smash that like button and subscribe for more incredible AI content. But if you're ready to take your skills to the next level and create consistent AI influencers, head over to pixelailabs.com where we offer comprehensive Comfy UI courses that teach you how to build workflows for consistent character generation across multiple images and videos. The link's right there in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.